It was a glorious spring day across Scotland and Mullaney Park welcomed second and third place finishers Curry Chieftains and Ayr to tough it out for a spot in the BT Premiership final. But up first, Melrose hosted Watsonians at the Green Yards. After a prolonged spell of possession, Melrose mounted another attack when the forwards drove a line out towards the line for Russell Anderson to score under the pile. The host displayed ruthless efficiency when a scorching interception by Ross McCann from his own half saw the speedy winger race 60 metres down the pitch to score under the posts and extend their lead. After the break, Melrose continued to strengthen their position in the game following another impressive break by Fraser Thompson, who scampered down the right touchline to score in the corner. The visitors responded on the 48th minute, exerting pressure on the Melrose line. James Miller found a gap to barge over from close range. Melrose rediscovered their rhythm and attack when McCann brushed off three defenders to dive under the posts. As the game drew to a close, the host swiftly moved the ball through the hands, with Thompson making yards before offloading to McCann. This try rounded off his side's victory to secure their place in the BT Premiership final. The bumper crowd at Mullaney Park didn't have to wait long for a home score, as after five minutes, Curry burst through and dotted down beneath the post to open up an early lead. Ayr were quick to strike back through the boot of fly half Scott Lyle. The visitors asserted their dominance at scrum time and closed the gap. Nearly half an hour had passed before either side could break through again. Awarded a penalty for a high tackle, Curry went to the corner and a well taken set piece was mauled over and converted to stretch the home lead. A yellow card a few minutes later for Ayr's Rob McAlpine didn't help the visitors' cause, and Curry had a near carbon copy of their second try through a second line out mall. Air rallied well and got their first five pointer of the match through prop Longwell to close the half and cut into the deficit. After another set piece, Curry managed to hold up the scrum, but they couldn't hold back the tide anymore, and Ayr's converted score cut the lead to just four. The Curry lead was turned into an Ayr one for the first time, as the West Coasters used them all for their own to score and set up a grandstand last quarter. With only a few minutes remaining, Ayr managed to hold out and will now face Melrose at the Green Yards in the BT Premiership final. Callum Black with the throw in, Ronan Sedak in the middle of the line. Ed Maraki's then early stages with a set play. Kelso conceding the penalty. The quick tap. And now Daki's forwards, led by their captain, Jamie Sewell. Shot of the line by just a couple of metres. Picked up once more. The loose head prop driving towards the line. Touches down in the post there. James Pierce with the opening score. Three minutes gone. 
Another line out is one towards the back. Little reverse pass there. Jamie Soul again up towards the line. And Soul, after three and a half months, scores his first try since December the 2nd. In Marrakis again. Great work there from the scum half. He's broken defence. And Max Love is in for try number three. Richard Mill. If this is successful, it will take him over 200 points for the season. And no mistake there, the first national one player to hit the 200-point mark. Max Love on to Richard Mill. Connor Harini has Chalmers outside him. There's Chalmers on towards Callum Ram. Ram now backs himself. Great tackle, though. Blocked challenge there from Kelso as Ed is now looking to recycle here. Chance now for Lovett. Lovett is over the line and touches down. Robert Lovett gets the bonus point try. 21 minutes of the first half gone. Love out to this right-hand side. The long look pass there. Chalmers now taking the ball on. A man outside him. That man is Matt Cooper. And Cooper becomes the first Aki's player to score 10 tries this season. Callum Black with the breakaway. Jamie Soul. Is he going to back himself all the way towards the line? Jamie Soul up against the Kelso fullback, Ross Cook. And Jamie Soul scores his 10th try of the season. Short this time in the line out. It's picked up well, lovely reverse pass there. Callum Black's going to be in for the score. Excellent work by Jack Mann in the back row. And it's Callum Black with the try. Aki's now Will Stephen feeding the ball just inside. It's just spilled. It's hacked on there, though, by Neil Armstrong. Armstrong now chasing this one. And Armstrong touches down for the score. The latest Aki's player to cross the whitewash. Robert Davis in towards Laurie Sadak. One thing in mind, and that's to break defence. Andy Tate then, the Kelso scrum half, feeding the ball in. Robert Davis alongside him. Naki scrum half might have an opportunity here. Robert Davis on his debut is going to score a try. He is indeed the latest Naki's player to score. The 28th separate player to score this season for the club. Recycled inside that 22. Well, Stephen, the cutting run coming in there from number eight, Laurie Sadak. And it's finished off by James Pierce, the loose head prop, scoring his second of the game. Kieran Cooney for Kelso, up against Ed Maraki's number eight. It's spilled, comes back now towards Robert Davis. Robert Davis, oh, lovely sidestep. And Robert Davis, on his debut, will score his second try of the game. A memorable afternoon for the youngster. Aki's in full flow once more. Ronan Sadak breaking lines and breaking defence and almost breaking records. Another score for Ed Maraki's, their 13th of the game. Hats off to Aki's. They set the standard today. They were good. We weren't at the races, and that's just that's what happens when that's the case. To be honest, you've finally gone over the 200 point mark for the season. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, uh, yeah, records are records, but you know it's, it's it's great. But at the same time, you know we want to we want to win the league ultimately, and uh, if records happen, that that that's great. But we take every game game as it comes, and um, yeah, we're just really happy to win.